And now I'm being joined by former world chess champion Vichy Anand from the OSG Baden-Baden. You are playing here in Berlin, the Schach Bundesliga, and now for your team with the OSG Baden-Baden, there's the most important match against Hockenheim. How was your game and how is it going with your team? Well, uh, it was. I was happy with my position, but then something went wrong. I must have misplayed it and then it fizzled out very fast. So my game went, uh, but um, I think it's still a very tense match. Um, there's a bit of danger on every board, but also for them. So hopefully we come out well. And yeah, it, it was it was a draw, but um, important important draw for sure. Um, this um, this this morning you played an interesting game against um, Grandmaster Andreas Heimann, and there was an interesting end game, and it was pretty hard in the end for you, but you managed to win. How did you do it? Well. Um I mean, the position is almost uh, just all the pawns are on the board, but uh, I've, I don't know, I, I hurried with b4. I should have played h5 first, after which I get a much better clamp. Then the position slightly opened, and I, I was not sure which side I was playing on. I mean, I played b4, then I changed my mind, I went b5, and then closed up and opened up here. And I, I have not checked it. I might even been, have been in trouble, but uh, in the end, it worked out well. Uh, but it was a very tense game, very unpleasant game, because um, uh, he he defended very well for a long time, and then um, at some point I was not sure if I'd even lost the plot, you know, if I, um, I was even better anymore. But in the end, uh, there was this nice trick. He pl he played his king to e7, and this is a blunder. Um, in fact, um, he should. Uh, I think if he just moves the queen, it should be a draw. Because, well, anyway, it's a long story. But after h5, I'm winning. Because the queen comes to h4, and suddenly he cannot stop anything. And this is a nice trick. So um, that was nice. And of course, it's nice because the team needed it. And it's nice, then you can do something. That was an important point. So Baden-Baden won. Four and a half to um, three and a half against the Schachfreunde Deitesau. Yes, and we collected a lot of questions um, from chess fans. and. Every chess fan is very interested in the way how a chess professional prepares and how does it, the day, the routine look like. Do you start with physical workout and then you do tactics, end game? How does your, um, how do you practice chess? Um, well, in, in Berlin, there's not, uh, we don't have much time. Um, double rounds, I mean, I was very happy Sven gave me a couple of uh, days off. Uh, so I was a, then I just went for a one hour walk in Tiergarten and uh, came back. Uh, I think it's fantastic uh, to be just so close to such a lovely uh, park. And I, I, yeah, I enjoy coming to Berlin a lot only for that. Uh, I can go for very nice walks and things. So that's what I did yesterday and day before, but today I had no time to do anything. Um, I didn't even have really time to prepare. I, everything was in a hurry but uh, you hope your opponent is also in a hurry. Yes, of course. And sometimes a bit of rest is more important than all, all night long preparation, right? Sure. No, uh, of course, uh, preparation comes after sleep. You, first, you have to sleep because otherwise your brain will not work at all. <laughs> so Now we have a very interesting question. Also, you, you are a former world chess champion and um, in a few weeks there is a the chess world championship match from the um, reigning world champion Magnus Carlsen against um, the challenger Jan Nepomnici in Dubai. Yeah, what, what do you think will happen there? Do you, can you make a forecast? Well, you can only point at trends. Um, I think there was a period somewhere between last year and this year when I wouldn't say he was playing badly, but he was wobbly. You could see some weaknesses in Magnus. And then you automatically think uh, that um, uh, Jan has um, something to exploit. But overall, Magnus has made a very good impression. He's won, he won, wins all his tournaments. He uh, plays at an extremely high level. So you can't really um, say anything other than that he's the favorite. But you know, Jan will. Uh, Jan also had streaks of impressive form. He will be well prepared, 
and I hope it'll be an interesting match. That's all. We will look forward to this and um, very often in chess world championship matches there's a certain, certain theme of openings such as um, Anand versus Kramnik and a lot of Semislav or, or Kramnik versus Kasparov, the Berlin defense or the last World Chess Championship, Sveshnikov variation, Rosolimo. Yeah, do, do you know what will happen there? Also, which openings will come up on the, bird, on the board? I think with uh, Jan, I'm hopeful for something chaotic. I don't know what it is, but I, I think that's uh, Jan's um, uh, style, just chaos. So hopefully he pulls something out. It will be interest, interesting. We are looking forward to some mayhem and fireworks on the chessboard. Yes, uh, I mean, I, I think Jan will try to be well prepared, uh, especially if, if, if Leko is, continues to be second, then um, uh, it'll be almost a clash, Leko's openings and Jan's openings. But hopefully they will blunder into some chaotic positions and then we'll see. We'll have a lot of fun. And we will see. Um, I know it's, it's, it's insane. As I read this book, um, The Anand Files, and there's a lot of preparation together with seconds. Can you give a short glimpse into the, yeah, how hard it is, how tough it is, and how, how, what does it mean to be a challenger for the World Chess Champion for a World Chess Championship match, and yeah, how does it, yeah, how was it? It's very tough, but that's a topic for another time. I mean, uh, I, we can have a half an hour chat, we can have a one hour chat. So I, th I think it's not for now. Thanks. Th that's sure. Uh, one, one last question, really last question is um, you have a very interesting project in the, um, the World Chess League. Yeah, um, and um, you have the idea also to bring um, some new aspects like virtual reality and make chess more attractive to a broader public and winning new sponsors um, for chess. When, when will it uh, come to life? Well, we're working on it. Um, unfortunately, I can't tell you much else. Um, they will have the announcement, but they're still working seriously on it. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that it has a big impact. We are looking forward to it. And thank you very much for this um, spontaneous interview. Thank you, Vishy Anand. Thanks.